Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to track callout titles to moving objects within a video using Fusion Tracker tools in the Fusion page. If you haven't seen my previous video about the essential callout title template, you can click the link up here or through the link in the description below. Here is a video of traffic flow on a highway and we will track a callout title to this moving vehicle. Add callout title effect to the clip. Change the callout title style. Okay, this one looks good. Enable the fusion overlay in the viewer. We can easily move the callout point and display directly in the viewer. Go to the inspector, click this fusion icon to open the effect in the fusion page. Select the callout node. In the inspector, expand the transform parameters. Right click the center parameter, in the context pop up menu, choose modify with tracker position. Switch the modifiers tab. In the viewer, drag this little handle in the upper left corner to move the tracker pattern box. An enlarged view is displayed as we move the box which helps to position the pattern precisely. In this demo, we will track this van. Now the callout title no longer points to the vehicle. There are two ways to solve this. We can adjust the tracker X and Y offset in the inspector. Or move the callout point and the title display. Before we initiate the tracking, Change the adaptive mode to every frame. Since the car is approaching from a distance, the tracking pattern constantly evolves as it gets closer. Using this mode helps the tracker compensate for the changes and produce a much better tracking result. Because the playhead is in the middle of the clip, we can first press the reverse button to track reverse from current time. When the tracking is done, move the playhead to the position where it started. Expand the track 1 options in the inspector. Press this forward button to track forward from current time. That's it, once the tracking completes, the callout title moves together with the vehicle. This method uses a tracking modifier to track the moving object, offering a simple and efficient way to track a single point and animate the center value of any positionable node within a fusion composition. But it lacks the other advanced tracking features, such as match moving with scaling, rotating effects. For example in this footage, as the car draws closer, we might want the callout title to scale and rotate accordingly. To do that, we can use the callout title template instead of the effect template, because we need to apply additional transformation effects to the title. Delete the callout effect. Go to the effects panel, open the templates, edit, titles and essential titles folder. Add the callout title to the editor. Merge with the media in node. Change the callout preset. Let's use a different one this time. Select the media in node. Press shift space to open the tool selection window. Search for the tracker node. Add it to the node tree after the media in node. Move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Go to the inspector, change the adaptive mode to every frame. Move the tracking pattern. Press the forward button to start the tracking. When the tracking is done, go to the Operation tab in the inspector. Change the operation to a match move. 
Reconnect the callout title to the tracker's foreground input. Since the merge node is no longer required, we can delete the node. Select the callout node and adjust the title to point to the vehicle. This is good. Now we have the same result as we did earlier with the tracker modifier, the callout title moves along with the van. To enable scaling or rotating, select the tracker node. Add another tracker. Click the checkbox to suspend the first tracker, as we don't want to retrack the point. When the tracker is set to suspend, the tracking data is locked, but still available for tracking operations. Make sure the second tracker is selected. Move to the beginning of the clip. Reposition and resize the pattern, we will use it to track the headlight. Press the forward button to start tracking. That's it. The title is now successfully tracked to the van, rotating and scaling based on the tracking results of the two trackers. In this example, the rotation appears to be a little too much. You can go to the Operation tab and disable the rotation option if you want. OK, this is how to use a tracker node to track a callout title to a moving object in the video. For a more accurate tracking result, we can use a planar tracker instead. Hold the Shift key and drag the tracker node to disconnect it from the node tree. Select the media in node. Press Shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and insert a planar tracker node. Move to the beginning. Draw the tracking pattern. Go to the inspector. Change the motion type to translation, rotation, scale. Click the track to end button to start the tracking. When track is done, change the operation mode to corner pin. Connect the callout node to the planar tracker's corner pin input. Select the planar tracker node. Move the playhead so the callout title and corner pin controls are visible. Adjust the four corner pins to align with the four corners of the image. Select the callout node. Point the callout title to the top of the van. Play the clip. This time, the tracking appears much more realistic. The title is firmly attached to the vehicle, rotating precisely in sync with the car's motion. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.